when you see such buildings, a question arises. Has apocalypse happened to Moscow? No. The answer is no. The point is that this house fell under the renovation program and will be dismantled soon. And the people who lived in it before have now moved to this or a similar house. The renovation program started in 2017 and residents of more than 5,000 old houses should be moved to new ones. And the old buildings will be demolished. This happens because in the 50s of the 20th century, in order to provide residents of the USSR with affordable housing, a program for construction of prefabricated houses was adopted. And now most of such buildings have become out of date and not to modern standards of living. In the middle of the 20th century, the leader of the USSR was Nikita Khrushchev. So such houses were inofficially called Khrushchevka or Khrushchev buildings after him. Of course, in the central area of Moscow, we are used to seeing beautiful buildings which appeared before the Soviet period, or even more impressive buildings of the Stalin period. Nevertheless, modest Khrushchev apartment buildings located in the residential areas that Moscow is now getting rid of served an important function. They allowed Soviet citizens to get free housing. And now let's move to Akademichiskaya metro station. Just a two-minute walk and we see this inconspicuous building. This is the first Khrushchevka in the USSR. It was built in 1958 and has only four floors, and later such buildings became five-story. There is no elevators in Khrushchev buildings, so it was believed that five floors was the maximum for a comfortable daily climb up these stairs. At that time, it was believed that Khrushchev buildings would not last more than 20, maximum 30 years, and would be replaced by modern houses. However, time flew, and the Khrushchev buildings still were one of Soviet and later one of Russian symbols. And it should be noted that such buildings have their advantages. As mentioned, they are low-rise buildings, and as a result they have a small number of residents. Many of these houses are located among trees. That's why not all people joined the renovation program. They still want to live in a quiet, cozy place. However, in general, such buildings are morally outdated and their residents who agreed to be relocated are moving to much better places. Sometimes dissatisfied voices can be heard of people who are not happy with the quality of new houses. But nevertheless, this is a completely different level. And most importantly, all this happens at the expense of the city. And still I don't understand why this house couldn't be surrounded by a fence, as they usually do, so that it wouldn't evoke thoughts of the apocalypse.